We begin this hour with breaking news. We have new information about a confidential report. The Obamacare website had problems. A warning to the administration before the launch uh, that uh, apparently that warning was ignored. We have team coverage of the Obamacare under fire right now. Let's uh, go first to Joe Johns. He's got the breaking news. What are you learning, Joe? Well, Wolf, in newly obtained documents submitted in response to a request by the House Reform and Oversight Committee, we're now getting a fuller picture of how much the government knew or should have known about problems with the healthcare.gov website on the same day that the head of CMS issued a mea culpa. CNN has learned that the Obama administration was warned in September that the Obamacare website wasn't ready to go live. The main contractor, CGI, issued this confidential report to the agency overseeing the healthcare.gov rollout. It warned of a number of open risks and issues for the website. The report gave the highest priority to things in plain language, like we don't have access to monitoring tools, not enough time and schedule to conduct adequate performance testing, and hub services are intermittently unavailable. Short for it, the site's not working sometimes. CGI saying back in September they were putting a team in place to alert whenever the hub goes down. Up on Capitol Hill Tuesday, the head of CMS, the agency that received that report, kicked off testimony by saying she's sorry. We know that consumers are eager to purchase this coverage. And to the millions of Americans who have attempted to use healthcare.gov to shop and enroll in health care coverage, I want to apologize to you that the website has not worked as well as it should. Marilyn Tavener was peppered with questions about when she'll have enrollment numbers for Obamacare. She stuck to a script. We will have those numbers available in mid-November, 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 mid-November. And she tried to lower expectations. She doesn't expect a massive influx of enrollees at first, in line with what happened when the state of Massachusetts rolled out its health care plan years ago. I'll remind you that enrollment does occur till March 31st of 2014. I will also remind you that the Massachusetts experience was very initially and then it started to ramp up over time we expect the same type of projections but the website problems were almost like window dressing in the hearing room where open warfare over health care has been waged for decades a democratic congressman leaped out of his chair claiming his party worked years ago to try to improve the republican prescription drug plan but when it came to obamacare the gop didn't exactly return the favor and how many of you stood up to do that None. Zero. It's a false choice to say it's Obamacare or nothing. Are you really serious? You had a legitimate alternative? We've gone through 44 votes. This hearing was only a warm-up, of course, for the main event on Wednesday when Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius appears before another committee, Republicans in Congress calling for her head. Advanced text of her remarks partially blame a subset of the 50-plus contractors on the project for not meeting expectations. I saw the report. You shared it with me. This was the CGI report uh, that was released, what, September 6th. That's, That's almost right. a full month before the October 1st rollout in which they warned of these serious problems with the website. What, any comment from the administration? Uh, we have asked the agency, CMS, uh, which is responsible for this rollout, for a response. We're told they're working on it. The report from CGI that we referenced at the top was based on work the company did during August. CGI Federal testified on the Hill in September and did not mention any of the problems in its report. Its statement said, uh, we're confident in our ability to successfully deliver on the task and they said they remain committed to the success of the website as a key mechanism for providing health care coverage by the statutory deadline of January 1st, 2014. Note that the website went live on October 1st. What's not clear is whether there was a later report that indicated all of the previous problems had been fixed. Still waiting for answers. This is on that. September 6th. By the way, as you were speaking, I just got a statement from the. Uh of Health and Human Services, the CMS. Uh, this is a statement. This was a document. This is the document we're talking about. Uh, this was a document at a point in time that identified issues, and we worked to address those issues and all issues identified. Uh, that's right. the exact statement. I'm not exactly sure, sure precisely what it means, whether or not they fixed everything, they were satisfied by the end of September that the rollout would work, but they do confirm that this document did warn of all these serious problems. Leaves questions unanswered. A lot of questions, uh, and I'm sure the, those questions will be asked to the Secretary tomorrow when she testifies. We'll have live coverage tomorrow morning starting at 8.55 a.m. Eastern here on CNN.